Uh, Assalamualaikum and a good evening. Uh, so uh, this is a video presentation for Group Zen Seven. Uh, so uh, my name is Muhammad Karani Verma Arifin uh, and my meeting number is one nine three five five zero. So uh, this is my team. Come on guys. Alia. <laughs> this is my team. Uh, so uh, today uh, I will present uh, our project on uh, converting. Uh, natural gas to methanol. So uh, this is our all broad diagram. So first we have the separator, and then separator, and steam reformer, makeup compressor, and actually six methanol converter to maximize our methanol production, and then separator and distillation column. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Maud Zafar Mubarak. My metric number is one nine two two eight six. I will explain about the desulfurator. So the function of the desulfurator is to remove acid gas from the cherry gas, mainly sulfur component, and to prevent poisoning downstream catalyst. So this is our feed stream. So we assume that 100 mol per hour is our basis, and the inlet temperature for the inlet stream is 300 to 400 degrees Celsius and 30 degree to 133 atmospheric pressure. So this is our outlet stream and this is our sulfur removal stream so we assume that 100% sulfur being removed from the natural gas and to solve this we use atomic balance so the degree of freedom of the of this reaction is so we use the atomic balance we use the degree of freedom of atomic balance so we have unknown we have five unknowns and for independent reactive species we have four which is carbon hydrogen oxygen and sulfur and for independent non reactive species we have nitrogens and we don't have a related equation which is total is zero means it can be solvable so after soft so we got 100.036 mole per hour as our product stream after being desulfurized and we have 0 0.040 mole per hour uh, molar rate for sulfur be removed so as you can see the composition of the inlet and outlet being changed so at this outlet we didn't have sulfur because sulfur has been removed at the stream so the composition of the of the of the other element are same so the outlet stream for uh, the temperature for outlet stream is 300 to 400 degrees celsius and the atmosphere is 30 degree to 130 degree atmosphere so we continue with our saturator as you can see our saturator contain of three two output stream two input stream and one output stream and we added water which uh, we added water into our saturator and the molar rate for our stream 5 is 266.696 mol per hour and we assume that 1 kilogram 1 1 kilogram mass fraction of water and stream 2 is the stream which come for our desulfurization which uh, this is the composition and the inlet temperature for our saturator is 300 to 400 degrees celsius and the pressure is 30 degree to 130 degree atmospheric pressure so saturator is unreactive reactor so we calculate is using we assume that inputs equals to outputs and we we want to find the composition at our products so we assume that H2O of our feed ratio is 2.66 and we calculate it and we got the, the molar rate for our stream 5 and we, we calculate it and we got the 3 we got 366.768 as our molar rate and 6538.970 as our mass fall mass flow rate and you can see that the changes of mole the mole fraction of CO2 changes from 0 0.010 1, 0 0.010 to 0.003 and the mole fraction for CH4 is 0 0.246 and the mole fraction for C286 is 0 0.011 
and the nitrogen also changes from 0 0.005 and mole of water is 0 0.727 and the mole of oxygen is 0 0.003 for the outlet temperature is 30, 300 to 430 degrees celsius and the pressure for our lead stream is 30 degree to 130 degree atmospheric pressure so hi everyone my name is Vasimu my entry number is 193438 uh, today I am going to discuss about the stream reformer stream reformer is a method for producing hydrogen carbon monoxide or other useful product hydrogen fuel such as natural gas okay the composition the composition that given uh, the, from the previous uh, stream is uh, previous uh, previous saturator is this carbon dioxide CH4, CH3, H8, C2, H6, nitrogen, H2O and oxygen and in this they are the composite in the mole flow rate and the uh, temperature is 450 to 650 degrees Celsius the pressure is 27 atm in stream deformer the pressure is 30 atm temperature is 1000 and then in the outlet is the given information is CH4, carbon dioxide and H2, H2. So the others are known as unknown which is CO, N2, H2O and oxygen. The temperature is 750 to 900 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 25.3 atm. And the unknown, the this one also we need to find, we need to find and we label as an unknown N1. Okay, the DOF is unknown is 4 and the independent rate is CHO and the non reactive is N2 and then the relating equation is 0 so it's 0 DOF is 0 so it's easily solvable in this stream reformer the, the, they are given two chemical equations which is CH4 plus H2O equal to carbon monoxide plus CH2O and then carbon dioxide plus H2O uh, equal to carbon dioxide plus H2 and then this unknown this value of the unknown can be found through atomic balance so after the so uh, doing the atomic balance so we can found that the answer is for the combo the composition for carbon monoxide is 0 0.108 and nitrogen is 0 0.03 and then h2o is 0 0.297 and then oxygen is 0 0.02 and the mole for is 1955.497 so make up compressor is the is equal uh, input equals to output there is no such a different the different in the only in the pressure so uh, so the pressure change changes is uh, the inlet is 25.3 atm and then the outlet is 20 to 80 atm this only the different in the makeup compressor otherwise everything the inlet composition of the inlet and outlet are exactly the same so uh, assalamualaikum and hello so uh, i will be presenting the methanol converter so the function of methanol converter is to produce methanol from the inlet stream so for this, uh, to complete the product, we actually have the fractional conversion H2, fractional conversion of CO, fractional conversion of CO2 uh, that we got from general and we actually have two chemical equations to produce methanol we are, which are not shown here. So for the inlet, uh, temperature is 700 to 90, 950 and the pressure is 20 to 80 atm and for the outlet is 300 degrees Celsius and 50 atm so uh, we, we can complete uh, the product using extent of reaction and this is what we got uh, actually and this is the first methanol converter that we are used there are currently six methanol converter that are used and, and the reason for that is uh, to maximize the methanol production uh, and to maximize our profit so for this in this inlet stream we will get this outlet stream and for the second metal converter we will get this product this as the product for the third metal converter we will get this as the product for the for the third for the fourth metal converter we will get this as the product for the fifth uh, metal converter we will get this as a product and for the sixth and the final metal converter we will get this as the product so uh, this is the separator first uh, we have the inlet uh, temperature and pressure which is 300 degrees celsius and 50 atm and the second is outlet 
every temperature which is 350 degrees Celsius and 40 atm. So the function is separated is actually to separate between the gas and the liquid component in the in the in the in the stream. So uh, we have the efficiency of the separator which is uh, liquid separation 0 0.9 and gas separation is 0 0.1 this is uh, what we obtain from general so uh, from this inlet stream we will get this outlet stream which is uh, liquid stream and this outlet stream which is gas stream so for the uh, liquid stream we have uh, methanol and water and for the gas stream we have all all the gas and all the residue gas okay assalamualaikum my name is alia ilmi binti and manazi my metric number is 192434 so today i'm going to explain about distillation column okay the function of distillation column is to separate methanol and water so this is our fluid of distillation column and this is our product of distillation column so the temperature for distillation column is 300 celsius and the pressure is 40 atmosphere and the efficiency of uh, methanol in distillation column is 0 0.990 and the efficiency of water is 0 0.01 so uh, we calculate uh, for, for so for the calculation we use atomic balance to calculate the product and the fit okay next is for costing so we have two price for our material which is natural gas and methanol so for natural gas we have two price low price and high price which is low price in 2009 and high price in 2007 or oh, before that, the price we use of uh, we use U US price, so we convert we convert the price. So one USD equal to four point zero eight zero zero nine uh, Malaysian ringgit. So uh, to get the total mass flow rate for natural gas, we times the the feet. We time uh, with our feet, which is 100 ton per year, with the price of the natural gas. And for the cost price of natural gas, um, we time with operating hours for our machine work. So, um, we use one day equal to 10 hours, and for one year, uh, equal to 300 days. So, we get this value. So same goes with the cost price of methanol. We have uh, two value, low price and high price. So um, to get total mass flow rate for methanol, um, we just time with the we time the methan the how much methanol produced with the price of methanol that we get from uh, our journal. And the selling price of methanol, we just time with operating hours of uh, our machine, which is one day equal to 10 hours and one day equal to 300 days. And um, so we have two price, which is low price and high price, right? So um, our selling price is from methanol, our cost price is from natural gas. So to get the profit of company, we just minus these two, these two, these two values and we get this value. And same with uh, high price. Selling price is from methanol and cost price is from the natural gas. So we get the profit. This is our raw profits uh, excluded. Uh, Salah. So it is a selling price from uh, methanol and the cost price is uh, from natural gas. So we just minus these two value and get the profit of our company for the hard price of our materials.